This mini golf course is haunted by so many golfers who didn't win their round. Published to YouTube by Urban Ghosts Urban Exploration in April of 2021, Joe, Rob, and Kate are up for a course in fear as they explore this abandoned mini golf in the middle of a lightning storm. The whole thing kicks off with nothing but whispers. In the beginning, as they explore a room that's been torn apart, you can hear this whispering in the background. As they continue to explore, there's another voice that sounds like it says, that's creepy as they come across a stuffed teddy bear. Joe notes that the teddy bear wasn't here when he last visited the place. As they move glass off the teddy a short while later, two distinct knocks are heard. Despite this, they continue exploring. At this point, in a darkened room, two lights shine clearly above Joe's head, but these could either be a passing vehicle's headlights shining through a window, or they might be from one of the crew's devices. At the same time, it sounds like a faint voice is heard. Either road noise, or somebody potentially walking around out there and it. As Joe is talking a short while later, something or someone is heard speaking over him. Necrophonic app, I'm gonna turn. The voice is loud but muddled, and the crew seems to have heard it coming from outside the room. They decide to explore the ceiling air shaft. For a moment, you can hear weird laughter. Who's up there? Later, while filming inside the same air shaft, a distinct boom is heard which causes Kate to let out a terrifying scream. This, of course, scares the entire crew. Later, whispers are heard in the air shaft again. <coughs> then they film up inside the air shaft. This is when you can hear a muffled female voice. It sounds like it's saying move on back shortly after. Another knocking sound. The crew believes there's a spirit up in the air shaft. They are listening deeply. And at this point, it sounds like a woman singing, but they don't appear to hear her on sight. YouTuber Stella Gomez also notes that the sun ray has been moved against the wall at the end of the video. It wasn't there to begin with, so unless the crew moved it, then who did? Being as they usually don't disturb anything, its movement is all the more disturbing. Is the lady in the air shaft toying around with them? Jesse and Gina are two hosts of a popular YouTube channel called BF vs GF. One night, the two of them go out with another friend to explore an old prison that's supposedly haunted. A strange figure appears behind Jesse at about 11 and a half minutes into the video. Pay attention to the doorway on the left. ...to see if he did. So it's for you now. And uh, we did a seance. It echoes so bad. <laughs> This vanishing shadow caused a huge commotion in the comments section, but the real question is whether or not this is a shadow person or simply a person's shadow. I did notice that this was filmed right by the exit sign, so I wouldn't be surprised if this shadow was just a silhouette of a visitor leaving. There's just no way for me to be 100% certain, so I'd definitely like to get your opinion on this one. What do you see around this corner? Published by Arte Morbid and originally posted on TikTok by Haunted Wesley E. Manor. This short clip is just one more proof that the manor is truly haunted. In a very dusty chamber of the castle, watch the corner of the arched doorway closely. What appears to be the figure of a small boy with glowing eyes peeks out for a moment before pulling back behind the barricade. He seems to be hiding. Is this a ghost? Or some small kid playing tricks in the castle? Most in the comments think it doesn't look human and call it very creepy. What do you think? I think we are going to be left with more questions than answers for the time being.
A ring camera caught yet another attempted intruder in the act. Actually, this time too. Published to YouTube in a ring cam video by Full Moon Crazies in July of 2019, the surveillance camera was placed behind a lamp and captures a pair of thieves going into a home during the Christmas season. The thieves are partially hiding their faces with their hoodies, and they seem to spy the ring camera right away as they look directly at it. After gathering some backpacks, likely filled with the taken goods, one of the intruders can be seen knocking the camera down to avoid its capturing further incriminating footage, but he didn't totally succeed. Two more intruders are caught on camera entering the room from the hallway. The clip ends without further explanation. These intruders more than likely made off like bandits, but we can only hope this video evidence was enough to catch them. Either way, this cost them Christmas, as they were sure to end up on Santa's naughty list. This may surprise you, but there are certain tribes around the Amazon rainforest that have never had contact with the modern outside world. These shots from above paint a picture of these uncontacted tribes being hostile towards seeing helicopters and drones in the air. So encounters with them are quite rare, since it's best not to interfere with these tribes. So this new drone footage was jaw-dropping when they actually manage to capture this uncontacted tribe on video. If you look closely, you can see there's 16 people quietly walking through the rainforest here. I think it's best if they don't try to get any closer. They certainly don't want a repeat of what happened before. It's creepy to think there's people on this earth who have never seen the modern world, but I agree these groups should remain uncontacted and self-sufficient. A YouTuber named Lawrence Ryan takes off his shirt and throws it over a shelf. A while later, he returns to the area and now finds the discarded piece of laundry has somehow shifted into a face. This shift continues before his very eyes until Lawrence grabs a camera to document the paranormal event. The shirt takes the appearance of a grinning demonic face who is looking down into the left. If you don't see it yet, you soon will. The transformation is not yet fully complete. The camera goes out of focus very briefly as Lawrence struggles to zoom in while walking closer. And when the camera corrects itself and comes back into play, the face is changed again. Pause at 1 minute and 47 seconds into the video, and you will see it now has a very deep ceased brow, a sharp angular nose, and a strange expression that looks like a cross between a frown and a smirk. I really don't see how any of this is possible, but then again if it's fake, then I don't know how they did it either. The shirt is hanging from a shelf and should not hold any form at all. If they tried to somehow fold it into the shape of a face, I don't think it would stay like that for long. Is this a time traveling ghost? Posted by Tay Harley Quinn to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the Redditor's ring camera caught something that made her look twice. The video clearly shows a car drive past, then behind it a transparent figure can be seen ghosting along after it. One Redditor has an explanation. Maybe the running person looks transparent because of the camera glitch or bad quality, he writes. He's fast, so I don't think that's a person at all. The Redditor responds that her camera is usually very clear, and she's never had a problem with it. Another commenter, Snorlax Lynn, tags onto the thread saying that the truck would have had a glitchy effect too had it been a camera quality issue. Some suggest it's a spirit on a bike, others think it's the compression of footage quality, which tends to make images look somewhat transparent if they're small and far away. What do you think is going on here? It's time to investigate. A YouTuber named Johnny Paranormal decides to also go into the infamous Aokihara Forest. He boosts the sound of his microphone to capture every paranormal sound, and he is surprised at what he records. For example, tell me if you hear a demonic growl here. Or a quick coughing noise here despite Johnny Paranormal being all alone. Or a second person quietly whispering the word help. How is this? These creepy sounds continue to follow him throughout the entire video, which is roughly an hour and a half long. I think that's way more editing than most people would be willing to put into a fake video, so I think there's a strong possibility that this is real. What's especially concerning is this demonic noise that follows him wherever he goes. 
That's saying my battery's going flat. Again. If Johnny Paranormal really was surrounded by the supernatural, then I hope nothing followed him out of the forest. Two adventurous friends are ready to explore an old sewer tunnel, but they don't make it very far before a strange noise makes them turn right around and head back to the light. Where are you guys They escape the tunnel safely, and nothing follows them outside. The obvious answer is that this was some kind of laughing sound effect that they edited in later, but to me it does sound like it was coming from a distance, as if it really was somewhere deeper in the sewer. Matt Bell accidentally manages to catch his neighbor's house on video as it goes up in flames. Watch about a minute in as a flaming piece of debris flutters across the street and lands in his hedges with a solid thud. Soon his front yard is ablaze, and now Matt's house looks like it is about to go up next. It looks pretty bad for a while, until his neighbors run over with some garden hoses and work on putting out the flames. Meanwhile, all Matt can do is watch on his phone with terror as he rushes home. Please put that out for me, please. I'm on my way home. Your house on fire! Yeah, I know. I'm on my way. The authorities are ultimately able to contain the blaze and keep it from spreading to other residences. This video just goes to show how easily the fire could have spread. If that flaming chunk had landed on Matt's roof instead of the hedges, there would have been little that his neighbors could have done. German ghost hunter Cubanito goes exploring an abandoned haunted house. For one of the scariest 3am videos I've analyzed in quite some time, the haunted house has long been abandoned in the woods. Getting inside is quite a chore because an unsafe wooden ladder is missing many steps. Inside is a dark and heavy feeling that makes them whisper nervously. A missing section of wall shows a hidden room under the steps. They hear a loud noise and run outside, but they didn't come here to get scared off in the first few minutes so they continue the 3am paranormal investigation and go in. This time they manage to get upstairs and come to a door painted solid black at the end of a long dark hall. They are beyond freaked out but nobody wants to quit, so against their better judgement they open the door. In this decrepit little bedroom they find a warning written on the dresser. I feel like it's a warning about a ghost, but the Google translation is so off that I won't even bother telling you what it says. If any of my German subscribers could tell me what this means, I would really appreciate it. The second word definitely looks like stop. They start to prod the door open but cannot bring themselves to. It's probably for the best. Who knows what was in there? Probably nothing good. There's one room left to check out on the top floor. This room looks like it's seen a lot of party action. It might even still be inhabited by some. They start to worry about the floor breaking and that's when it might actually start to... A snapping noise sends them all running out of the house before their 3am challenge becomes a 3am rescue. A man steps out of his sandals before going into the house for a bit. Well gone, to his amazement, his shoes are caught on a home security camera moving on their own. The movements are subtle at first, but soon it becomes clear that his footwear is going for a walk by itself. I thought maybe he was using a string under the front door, but it can't be that explanation because the sandals actually move away from the door. I think this video might be edited because there's always a loading icon. Shortly before the sandals move, maybe they are secretly pausing the video to move the objects themselves and then recording again. I honestly don't know enough about this particular security camera to know for sure, so if you have this model then let me know if my instincts are correct. Kiss that dude. <laughs> A single strange light in the sky has a YouTuber named Jesse Table Beast looking up with curiosity and horror. Yeah, it's 
it's definitely fine, whatever it is. He and his friend decide to drive towards the strange blinking light and investigate what it could be. The still image taken at 4 minutes and 58 seconds gives us a better look at it. A disc-like object floating in the air. There's an intense light coming from the bottom and also a small circular dome on top. They don't know what it is and neither does anyone else. A minute later, they are at the source of the light, which is much larger now but still just as unexplained. They think the light is coming from a nearby power plant, but it's too dark and rainy to tell, so they go home without knowing for certain. This light, well bizarre, might be from a busted power generator, but if that were the case then you'd think the light would be low to the ground and constant. The light is high in the air. Tell me what you think it is. Scary CCTV video has caught an intruder trying his hardest to bust down a door at 10.46 in the morning. He gives it the boot and even uses a hammer, but a minute and a half later he's walking away with nothing gained but a sore leg. The only thing that kept everyone safe was the special coating behind the glass that basically acts as a tape to keep it together. He has shattered the glass but a sticky film keeps his foot from getting through. It's like a car windshield after impact, so maybe it's the same type of treatment. Either way, the attempt is vicious and I can't help but wonder if he would have done the same thing to anyone unlucky enough to be inside. Crazy EVPs and spiritual mists run amok in the haunted Skinner's Tavern. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Paranormal Purgatory writes, We captured what looks like a spirit trying to manifest in the doorway. They also captured some insane dialogues with the beyond as they attempted to communicate with the spirits inside this haunted place. See it for a little bit. See it for a little bit. See if we can hear anything. After an EVP translates a spirit whispering, All pretty I am. A partial manifestation is caught in this doorway. Right in the middle of the entry, you can see a trace of a ghostly mist as the camera pans round. The Redditor doesn't appear to notice it in the moment as he calmly asks the house at large if he can get a drink. Don't blame him, he's probably gonna need a drink again when he plays this back. Robin Adri is the name of a YouTube channel with an interesting Ouija board experiment at 3am. Is there any spirits out here that would like to contact us? They try to get the ghost to spell its name, but the session gets off to a bad start after they complain about how slow the ghost is at spelling. This seems to aggravate the spirit, and it asks to speak with Rob's twin brother Steven by spelling its name over and over again. The spirit goes on to profess that it does not have good intentions for his brother Steve. Do you want to hurt Steven? After a while, the Ouija board stops spelling Steven long enough to spell out Zozo instead. They eventually end the session properly and even get assured that they will be left alone in the future. You said that you will not haunt us, right? Thank you so much, we really appreciate it. But it seems as though Zozo may have been luring them into a false sense of security. As they are leaving, they see a rattlesnake nearby and it seems to be paying special attention to Steven. Rob and Adri are convinced that Zozo was sending them a warning sign in the form of a serpent, but I think this could also just be a coincidence. Let me know what you think. Jonathan FOD and his friends go exploring an abandoned meat processing facility building that everyone in town says is haunted, but the air quotes around ghost seems to mean he doesn't quite believe it. So supposedly, that there's a ghost. Guess, uh, that runs around here. Soon he will. Oh, shit. Hey!
Who's there? As Jonathan, FOD, and his two friends are ghost hunting in some kind of tool shed, they get what they think could be some paranormal evidence caught on tape. What the? Bro, you heard that, bro? What the fuck is that? Bro. Is anybody there? All three of them are on camera when these noises happen. You can see they are just standing there with their hands down so it can't be them. Maybe Jonathan had a fourth person making all of that noise, but I don't see how they could have faked that ghost EVP at 8 minutes and 50 seconds. It really does sound like the muffled voice of a small child. YouTuber Chuck's Paranormal Adventures posted this video in 2016 of the family dog Emily. In the description of the video, Chuck notes that Emily often stays in the kitchen, waiting for scraps of food without a worry in the world. But some days, she avoids some areas of the kitchen or won't even come in. Then, in Chuck's own words, on September 12th, as I sat down to have a snack in the kitchen, the dog was having one of those skittish moments and I had my phone nearby so I could record it. Since I am a paranormal investigator, from time to time, we've had visitors in the house, not by invite, I assure you. I believe looking for help in crossing over. But that is another story for another day. Chuck tosses the dog some food to eat, but Emily won't come near enough to the food to eat it. The chips remain on the floor, but Emily, looking around a chair, refuses to get them. However, when Chuck puts some chips in the dog's bowl, Emily eats them all up in a second. So it's clear that the dog loves chips. What's not so clear is why she's too afraid to go and get the one set out for her on the floor as a special treat. When she's finished the chips in the bowl, she starts walking towards those on the floor. She comes very near them, but then, as if frightened by something, backs away. She goes back to her dog bowl to see if there are any more, and then looks back at the floor chips, and then she backs away further. She even goes around to another door to the dining room and attempts to approach on the other side of the chips, but she can't convince herself to go anywhere near them. She sits in the hallway and re-enters through the other side. Then, as the owner approaches the very spot the dog won't approach, the phone's camera shuts off. Coincidence? Chuck wonders. Maybe, maybe not. The following day, Chuck records Emily visiting the same spot she'd avoided the day previously. She is no longer afraid to eat the chips there. Same spot as yesterday. Okay, pause it a second to get some chips. And now there's the spot that was yesterday. I'm going to put the chips down and see if there's the dog in the spot where that she refused to go to yesterday having the little chips. So what's going on? Chuck wonders if the spirit of an old pet was guarding the chips, as Emily used to approach their old beagle in this same cautious manner. They also sometimes hear a dog call or clank in the middle of the night, which couldn't be Emily since they remove it before bedtime. Whatever the case, here's hoping the spirit isn't something much more sinister. Amateur footage was shot somewhere in an underground sewage system. The cameraman is presumably a maintenance worker who is wearing a chest cam. Little did he expect to find a humanoid down there with him. The video begins with the cameraman seemingly frozen in place. The camera is very still as if the maintenance worker is too afraid to move. Maybe he heard a noise and is waiting for a creature to reveal itself. Suddenly a pair of floating eyes peer at him from the distance. The eyes appear to belong to some sort of nocturnal predator. They reflect so much light that all you can see are two gigantic white dots that are roughly as wide around as flashlights. The humanoid does not appear to have much experience with humans and seems apprehensive as it peers around the corner. It decides to run away and the cheap camera cuts out before we can see any more of the chase. The creature seems incredibly fast and probably got away, but exactly what happened next is anyone's guess. The video footage survived, so the cameraman probably did as well. 
Then again, maybe they recovered it from his dead body instead. There's just not enough information out there to say for sure. This man claims he can make a wooden match stick pass through a silver watch using nothing but sheer will. He focuses deeply for a moment and then proves it can be done. From solid through solid. That's I'm almost positive that this is sleight of hand, but I'm not sure. I don't see cuts in editing, and it really does look like it was done in one smooth take. If someone can please tell me how he does this, real or not, I would greatly appreciate the help. This old VHS footage was taken by construction workers during an interior renovation project in Corpus Christi, Texas. It's daytime and well lit, and the building still has a constant eerie vibe. They claim to have seen the ghost of a girl walking across the property, and the air grew cold around them, even though they are in the south. One of them records this mysterious noise coming from the hallway. It sounds like a moan from behind. Take a listen. He calls out for his friend Tom and picks up a strange whispering noise as he turns. Hey, Tom! He pauses outside of an especially dark room and feels watched by a presence within, a force that strips him of his bravery and leaves him small and vulnerable. He sees movements and bolts down the hall. I think I can see the outline of something in the corner here. When the room is brightened, could this be the ghost girl they were talking about? He decides to take one last look in the room and cautiously peeks inside. Rushing footsteps come from within and send him screaming off the job site. Will this couple live happily ever after? Shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah, this video was originally posted on TikTok. The mysterious video of what appears to be a wedding party is trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community. A pair of newlyweds sit together with a forlorn look on their faces, while an officiant reads through some documents or scripture with the wedding party gathered round. <laughs> We can assume all is normal, but a moment later something unsettling happens. Watch the bride to be. What came over her? Her eyes grow wide as though she suddenly become possessed by something. She then follows an unknown object above before having a strange fit and appearing to silently scream in pain. Did a mysterious force from above possess her? Or did that force simply strike in that moment and cause her agonizing pain? It's hard for me to tell here what may have happened without further context or an extended video, but if I had to guess, I'd say something possessed her. It's all in the eyes. Costa Rica is full of many beautiful sights. Under your pillow is not one of them. Scorpion on my pillow. Is it alive? I'd say it's very much still alive. A gigantic stinger is curled high above at the ready. I don't know if he was sleeping under this terrifying creature all night, but I think he might have been. If so, he's really lucky he never fluffed the pillow. Seriously though, I really want to know what kind of scorpion this is and how risky this event really was. This video looks like it was intentionally set up to capture something that has been appearing in a closet lately. At first, you can't really see anything, but after a while, the shadows begin to form into a human-like figure. The shadowy shape peeks out from behind the door and at one point even appears to have two bright white eyes. The grainy quality of this video is a strong indication that it was edited. 
But then again, this may be a very old cell phone video, or perhaps a very early internet video that needed to be heavily compressed before uploading. If you were awoken by vibrations, what would you think was happening? Published by YB Normal in January of 2012, a hotel guest awoke to something reverberating throughout his room in Beijing and reported hearing spine-chilling sounds. Grabbing hold of his camera, he went to the window where he spotted three unidentified flying objects in the sky. The dark saucers can be seen in a triangular formation in the distance, while in the background you can hear the disturbing noise that must have woken him. It's one deep, long, vibrating note, like the sound of something hovering. The camera zooms in on the saucers before the video turns off unexpectedly. The uploader says the camera stopped functioning for no reason. Are these extraterrestrials simply observing us Earthlings? Or are they trying to scare us with sleep deprivation? A British YouTuber named Lewis Clark goes in search of a country cottage that's reportedly where people go to take their own lives. The inside is still and stuffy and cluttered with cobwebs and shattered glass. Huge chunks have rotted underfoot, threatening to send Lewis Clark and his crew to a painful fall that might not have made it through. As they go deeper inside, they noticed a very bad sign. Tell me if this is a fake cough or not. <laughs> Guys, the whole place here stinks. Right? Oh, <laughs> I don't know why the place stinks. The stench is really bad now. As they reach the far end of the home, and as one of them reaches for this giant spider, they find something much more horrifying laying in wait. Boy, this f guy, he's gonna f tap the spider. What the f is that? A white cloth with dark red stains is draped over what appears to be the shape of a human. It looks like this poor soul met a particularly gruesome end, but there's no red on the walls or pooling on the floor underneath, so I think this body was recently moved here for some reason. Or this was all set up. The problem is I can't tell which, and I'm not sure if I want to know the real answer. This creepy video is what happens when you go ghost hunting around Ireland's haunted woods of Newton Abbey. Kelly, did you hear the word amber? I don't hear anything, but I do see a strange mist has been caught on camera. Paranormal, I'd say, because it doesn't look like their breath. It happens twice, here at 26 seconds and again at 28 seconds. I hear they have a lot of foggy weather in Ireland, so maybe this is a small patch of fog they've caught on camera instead of a ghost. But let's face it, they get creeped out in a scary part of the woods known to be haunted, stop to record, and then capture some strange sightings on tape. So maybe this is a paranormal ghost video. When a Shadow Welcomes You, Run and Hide, published by Polish Paranormal TV in October of 2021, this scary video explores a haunted place in Poland. Upon entering, the team uses a spirit box as they head up the stairs. Right away, the spirits start speaking. According to a translation, the spirit says either I'm here or welcome here. But how welcome are they? Later, while walking down a hallway, a shadowy figure is spotted leaning against the door frame. You can see it more clearly in slow motion. Do you see it? If you do, this figure will haunt your eyes for eternity. YouTuber Hassan Barbar writes that the Jinn of the Stick is the strongest thing in the world of the Jinn, and he's captured it on video. Let's take a look. Soon you can hear the jinn moaning nearby. <laughs> and finally, Hassan comes across the jinn stick. 
يعني طب ليش وقعتي هاي يعني تخوفيني اطلع من المكان برجعه هسه الشيخ برجع الشيخ هون ها في صوت Hassan follows the sound of a bottle being kicked around, but he finds nothing. Is the jinn up to his games again? I think he just might be, and if that's the case, Hassan had better be careful. The jinn is around every corner. If insects aren't your thing, then this entry will highly test your bravery. This footage is of an insect swarm at the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa. The uploader writes, During our family holiday in 1996 or 7, we had parked the car and gone for a short walk up the cliffs. When we came back, we found that our car had become a hot spot for these giant wood lice, sea slaters. The clip shows piles upon piles of wood lice crawling around the car tires, an absolutely terrifying sea of insects, all coalescing beneath the vehicle. As the uploader says, probably attracted to its cozy comfiness. After seeing this, would you be brave enough to climb back in and leave? I thought not. Meet the vloggers are vacationing in Dubai and simply having an awesome time. They are returning to their rental car after a fun-filled day, only to find a surprise twist waiting for them on the hood. This person, yeah, they must live in the apartment that we lived in to get in and take pictures. Do you know how close this is? Apparently, someone must have been following them around with a camera for the whole day. Each photograph has a completely handwritten message just for Yasmin. The last photograph labeled It's Me is completely blank. Some of these pictures were only taken a few feet away, meaning that whoever took them was close enough to grab her if they wanted to. I think that her husband Kel could be playing a joke on her because he doesn't sound especially concerned about the whole thing. Listen to this part and tell me if you think he is the one responsible. I'm watching you and then this picture here, it's me, just a blank one. Exploration Unknown is an adventurous channel based out of Knoxville, Tennessee. The host, John, has been checking out hundreds of weird places around the south for over three years now. Usually all he finds is historic architecture, but he's also stumbled into his share of paranormal places, dozens of them. In 2018, he and his friend Tim traveled to the Nemo train tunnel, six miles south of Wartburg, Tennessee. Their plan is to walk straight through to the other side. The outside is slowly collapsing and gives off an eerie vibe that they cannot deny. They get their first sign to stay away at 4 minutes and 45 seconds as they stare down the waterlogged entrance. I don't know either. There's a lot of sediment build up in here for sure. Did you hear that howl? Something howl. The same noise is heard again at 11 minutes and 9 seconds. I keep hearing something. The air grows thick as John and Tim continue to march down the straight path, alternating between wet and dry patches. Two minutes later, they reach the part of the tunnel where they originally heard the noise, and there they experience one of the weirdest encounters on his whole channel. A shadow passes and something touches John's arm. Literally just touched my it's arm. It's coming around the corner, whatever that thing is. I can still see it. It's come around the corner. Then when it walks in between them both, it causes their camera to go out of focus. <gasps> Something touched my arm. I grazed it. Dude, as I come around that bend, you can still see it poking its head around the phones. What are you? Hello? And when they ask if they want to communicate... Are you trying to communicate with us? The camera goes back into focus as if it simply walks away, but in its place is a lingering dread that makes them feel unsafe, a slight hum as if the air is electrified. Sounds like a train coming. Dude, that sounds like it's coming right at us. 
A train horn comes from behind even though the tracks have been ripped up long ago. It's either edited or a ghost train. Not much else happens until they finally see light from the other side of the tunnel. They felt watched this entire time and John decides to try and convince the spirit to reveal itself on camera once and for all. Is there anything you'd like to say before we leave? Believe it or not, that's not even their creepiest ghost train encounter. A year prior, John, Tim, and their friend James all found an abandoned train in the middle of the woods in 2017, probably not too far from the Nemo Tunnel. A broken window in the first car suggests that something could have struck the conductor and stopped the train where it has remained ever since. In the kitchen, John captures a strange white anomaly head past them and then the camera mysteriously blurs when they open the door. Now they are in the first passenger car and conclude that something is with them. Smash that like button for me. What was that? It's probably just like the tree. My camera's blurring up real bad. Oh, don't tell me that, bro. Yeah, it's blurring up real bad. Okay, there we go. My camera gets blurry something. Something is getting mad that they won't leave. They're seeing things at the same time. A shadow that I don't see, but maybe you can. I hear somebody moving still. Oh, I just saw a shadow again. Hello? An orb appears at the exact same moment something falls behind them. Tim goes to investigate and this is when it all goes wrong. What was that? Dude, what? what the, dude, did you hear that? Yes. Dude, what was that? Dude, what was that? I don't know, somebody said something. A noise behind Tim and another in front of John sends them running away. As they squint into the darkness, John thinks he sees something his camera can't detect. How do we get into these situations? Seriously. I know. Seriously. Dude, I think somebody just peeked out down there. But as the invisible presence draws closer, they do manage to detect something. We might want to get out of here, guys. Just in case. It's the type of slight picture distortion that allegedly happens when a ghost steps near. So light anomalies and picture distortions are all well and good, but I bet a full-sized apparition is what you really came here for. Well, Exploration Unknown has got you covered. In February of 2018, John and Tim explore an abandoned factory that was shut down after mysterious accidents led to speculation that it could be cursed. It isn't long before they quickly agree. What is it? Dude, that something's kind of against that wall. Dude. What is that banging? What is that I just saw a light, dude. Hold oh, still. And when walking deeper, the noises grow heavier, more angry. Sounds like it's about that time right there. It's going backwards now. It waits until they reach the far wall and are cornered before revealing itself to their horrified eyes. Dude, that come from over here. Dude, get out of here! Go, my dude! John and Tim want to believe that this was just a person fooling with them, but I think we all know the answer. Nobody would be living out here, and I think that's the key word, living. What they saw was not anything close to alive. Is my house haunted? Writes a user named BB5432 on the haunted subreddit. This paranormal video of their place was caught on a neighbor's doorbell cam across the street who later showed it to her out of concern. It doesn't look like much at first, but there's actually a lot of creepy things going on in this video that you might not see. But first, let's start with the basics. The Reddit poster claims her house was completely dark when these mysterious, unexplained lights started flashing all around the door. The television in the living room was not on, she says, and even if it were on, 
It's facing the opposite way at an angle that would not create this effect at all. Whether or not to believe her is up to you. I do because the flashing seems too bright for a television and takes up the whole window at times. Nobody would watch a television screen that bright because it would undoubtedly hurt to look at for that long. And at 25 seconds, the creepy light grows even brighter and does not subside until the video ends. BB5432 later posted, she has no further reason to think their house is haunted, but still struggles to explain what this was if not a ghost. She adds the same thing happened to her years ago. The same neighbor showing her and her husband lights in their door, and nobody could figure it out then either. Someone said they should check the electrical wiring in that room, which I agree is a good move. But other than that, everyone else says this is super weird and even she has to admit she's creeped out. There's also one more weird thing that I wasn't even going to mention except she saw it too. A shadow figure in the doorway. You can see it whenever the lights go down, but it's probably most apparent at 4 seconds. I took a still image and zoomed in. Here it is with no special effects whatsoever. The outline of a shadow figure looking out the window. Tell me if you can see it too. I'd say that house is haunted. If that's not a resident. A paranormal video from Russia follows ghost hunter Sergei Sokolov on an urban exploration that creeps him out. The investigation eventually leads him to what appears to be a recently used altar. Crushed cans rest on three points of the evil looking star. North, west, and southeast. Probably where candles are going to soon be burned for a ritual of some kind but it looks like a summoning ritual might have already been performed when this happens. They are wrapping up the paranormal video in typical YouTube style when something weird is caught on camera behind him. Some people say this is a possible paranormal entity, but if you pay attention, it looks like it could be a drawing on the wall. But even so, why is only the drawing lighting up? Some people like their onion rings extra crispy, but not when the added crunch is because of this. And I got some nice uh, roaches in my uh, onion rings here. They are so small that they kind of almost blend in until you see the tiny shriveled up legs. But I mean, if you were eating this meal straight out of the bag and concentrating on the road, you might not even notice them at all. Again, this is one of those videos that I regret coming across because I realized how easily it could have happened to anyone watching. As awful as it sounds, I doubt this customer was the only person who got served a big batch of fried bugs that day. John Cater carefully combs through his home looking for the source of what he can only describe as a creepy noise. One second the room will be completely silent. Look at and the next minute it sounds like some kind of grinding noise that could drive somebody insane over time. Oh my god. It isn't insects either because listen to how quickly it goes away. Oh my god. John eventually traces the noise back to a dark room that he has never really paid any particular attention to before, and apparently something in there wants to keep it that way. It looks like an invisible force slams the door shut from the other side, and we never do get to see what was down there with him, if anything. This demolition house of horror has these urban explorers walking on eggshells. Published to YouTube by Urban Ghosts Urban Exploration in May of 2021, Joe and Chris work their way through a pair of houses being torn down for demolition. Joe says they were contacted by the workers who were cleaning the houses out and were told they felt a presence here. And you'll definitely feel it too as you watch the video. Whatever is in these houses is making its presence known through whispers. As the explorers wander into the bathroom, you can hear incoherent whispering. A moment later, a man's voice says yeah, when asked if the spirits in the house will talk to them. Will you talk to us if there's spirits here? Later, more whispering is heard. 
may give us some clues. And later again... Indiscernible what the voice or voices are saying. What is distinctly heard, however, is a growl that happens when Joe is positioning the camera down a staircase. What do you think is hanging around these demolition houses? And what will they do when their homes are destroyed? On a trip to Thailand, YouTuber DDoc Michael skipped the beaches and instead spent his holiday exploring this intensely haunted house. Upon entering, he hears whispers. He continues his exploration but is scared off by another voice. Still, he stays. As his search goes on, he hears another noise. Who are you? And at last, he sees what's making it. The stranger in the abandoned place is ready to throw down. What? What? Who are you? Michael runs off, thankfully escaping unharmed. To me, this just goes to show that live humans are often scarier than spirits. Nothing like heading out to the old barn in the middle of the night. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by the Comics Man, and originally posted to YouTube in April of 2020 by the channel Me and Some Dudes. Comics Man writes, Thought I saw something at 1 minute 19 seconds. Don't know. Let's take a look and find out. The guy filming sets out to show us his barn at night. He notes that there's a shed full of roosters to the side, and sometimes they go berserk. He says when they do, and he goes to check on them. The door is always open. His theory is that there are bunnies or raccoons living beneath the barn, but how would they open the door? Eugene Krabs in the YouTube comments points out at around 1 minute 18 seconds that something appears to duck down behind the gray thing in the barn. Do you see it? We can only hope it's a raccoon and not something creepier. If you're looking for a haunted location, your best bet is to choose somewhere with a scary history. Steve Ronan, an American urban explorer, traveled to the United Kingdom to investigate a Victorian-style mansion, believed to be the site of a gruesome taking of life. Despite its longevity, the event took place in 2006, when then-homeowner Christopher Lumsden ended his wife's life in a jealous rage. She had allegedly just returned from dinner with her lover when the incident occurred. Despite the viciousness of the event, Lumsden only served five and a half years when he was released on license, the British legal system's equivalent of parole. Intrigued by the story, Ronan decided to investigate at the home in order to see if he could come up with answers. Upon arrival, the front of the house is littered with large trash, including several beds, some broken walls, and what appears to be clothing. At the time the video was filmed, renovations were ongoing to prepare the house to be put up for sale. It is unknown if the trash was from the house itself or was left there randomly, but it would be strange if so many pieces of clothing were left behind. The first bit of the video is Ronan and his team exploring the house, finding it in a state of disrepair. At one point, they find a strange piece of wallpaper on the floor. The same system is seen covering the walls of a room. Written on it are various strange phases, including Carpe Diem Dungeons Fire, Jungle Truth or Dare Power. What this means is a mystery, and it's a strange design to have as a wallpaper. Things quickly take a turn for the creepy when they find a red stain on the floor of one of the rooms in front of a dresser. On closer inspection, it is a sizable red blot stained into the floorboard that was once beneath the now torn up carpet. 
It definitely is believable that it's what we're all thinking, since the coloration does resemble when such a stain has aged over time. One of the crew decides to shine a UV light on the spot. As he explains, the spot remains visible as a dark purple under the light, instead of blending into the floor. Also, while it is not mentioned, there are spots that weren't visible when the light wasn't on. Going off the find, they decide to begin a spirit box session in the room. The method they use is simple, as they find a radio and rapidly shift through the channels. After a couple of questions and one false alarm, a voice comes through the static saying, You were tricked. You were tricked. Did you just hear you were tricked? This is strange as immediately before that, they were discussing whether or not they were deceived into believing another house entirely was the location of the gruesome life taking. At the beginning of the video, they spoke with a security guard of another residence who claimed the occupied house was the actual location of the incident. However, they were not allowed in and went to this house nearby that is also said to be where the incident happened. Could it be possible they are communicating with something who knows they were tricked? The group hears various answers come through the radio, although admittedly it is hard to hear whether it is actually something answering them or simply words from the radio programs coming through and sounding like answers. Next, the group decides to conduct an EVP session to see if they can hear anything else. During the session, the group hears noises and something like shuffling is picked up on the EVP. At this time, nobody in the room is moving or talking. They also hear something that sounds like chewing or moving their mouth. After asking a question, some sort of faint whisper can be heard right before the next question is asked. If so, who was the one who murdered you? Unfortunately, it's too difficult to decipher what, if anything, is being said as it is too quiet. After nothing else seems to come through, finally the group uses an actual spirit box, which automatically and rapidly changes stations so quickly you can't hear what is being said by the program. Ronan asks if anyone can tell what happened and if there was an event of a life being taken. Soon after, a voice comes through with what sounds like yes, immediately followed by what sounds like someone died. Soon, a male voice comes through with what Ronan thinks sounds like wasn't me. Thank you so much. I feel you. Thank you. The moment that is guaranteed to send chills down your spine is when a woman, either laughing, crying, or possibly screaming, can be heard. The investigation wraps soon after, and Ronan leaves with what could be considered valuable evidence. The event that occurred in the home has left an imprint, and not just the stain on the floor. A man is testing out his GoPro when a mysterious sea creature is caught on camera in deep waters. Look closely behind him. You'll just barely see a small black object move in the waves before mysteriously disappearing back to wherever it came. He suspects this bizarre sighting could have been anything from a great white to an orca whale or something smaller like an otter or a seal is not out of the question. That's a big difference and not something you'd want left up to your imagination while floating on a kayak by yourself with nothing around for miles. The creature does not resurface and ultimately leaves them alone. He's not sure which mysterious creature is responsible for this suspenseful moment caught on GoPro, but there's always a chance of an even closer encounter next time. While investigating Investigating the ancient Ram Inn, YouTuber After Dark Paranormal captured what they believe is paranormal activity. Watch the creepy doll sitting atop the Ouija board. Is it our Ouija board you like? Or is it the doll? Or is it one of us? <laughs> the doll appears to answer dramatically.
the sensory device starts flashing at the same time the doll starts to fall. Although this could be paranormal activity, the doll appears to me to be sitting precariously on the board. The tumble it takes looks like it could have been natural. The team says they tried to replicate it but couldn't. They spent over an hour trying to do so, including kicking and pushing the solid oak barrel. So I'm on the fence with this one. What do you think? When a YouTuber named Blake Smith's Gaming Blitz claims to have been hearing paranormal sounds from his basement. His followers suggest that he leaves a camera downstairs and record what happens. He takes their advice, and this is what his phone supposedly picks up. The video goes on like that for over a minute, but he comes back and gets his phone. If this video is fake, then I personally don't know where he got these effects from. It doesn't sound like any movie I've seen or any game I've ever played. If you recognize the sounds from somewhere, or if you think this is real, then I definitely want to get your opinion. Here's another video from the same channel so you can hear it some more. Hello? Michael Jackson may have made a spirited cameo in YouTuber Kelsey Davies' adventure in the Forest Lawn Cemetery. Accompanied by Omar Gosh TV, Kelsey enters the Los Angeles Cemetery, where the King of Pop was laid to rest in 2009. Drawn to over here, like I just felt like I needed to look on these walls, and all of a sudden, we sign Margaret. Which is so crazy. This is what happened during the team's visit. Is Michael Jack have you met him? Do you know if Michael Jackson's here? After that, Michael began to make music. Is there someone here with us? Using dousing rods to communicate, Kelsey gets a reading. It's moving a lot. Look. Oh. You did it. Are you the. Yeah. I'm so curious. While continuing to speak to Margaret, she confirms that the spirit is not related to Michael. Hey, I got a question for Margaret. Are you related to Michael Jackson? Does that mean no? No. Okay. Kelsey then really starts to become one with Michael. My heart hurts. Oh. Like a heart attack. This person. How did Michael die? I know. Heart that failure. Heart failure. Cardiac arrest. That was his. That was that. That was his cause. Of and at last, Michael reveals himself. Is this person here? Is your name Michael? Can you cross the dowsing rods in my hand for yes and open them for no? They are not alone. Ooh. It turns out something else is here. Are you Michael Jackson? Oh, it is. Does Michael have company? Are you a demon? Maybe he's playing out Thriller in the afterlife. When unexplained shadows fall, your only recourse is to search for an answer. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Sammy Sam 1870 writes, It was 2.06 a.m. and there was no one walking around, nor were there any cars in sight when this mysterious shadow strolled across my security camera. The following day, I tried to figure out where it could have came from, but found no explanation. The security camera footage shows a black shadow cast upon the ground, moving across the screen. As the Redditor explains, nothing visible in the area is casting the shadow. So do we have a shadow figure on our hands, or is this just a bug caught at a weird angle? 
two friends are live streaming in Malaysia when some of the scariest moments of their lives are caught on camera in front of all of her followers. Shadows swirl overhead and the door slams shut even though they are the only two people home. When she looks back, her friend is no longer the same person who she's always known. If you look closely, you can see she grabs a cross out of her purse. As soon as she touches the object to her friend's arm, she screams as if the object burns her to the core. A couple other points for my final analysis. When the lights go out at 1 minute and 7 seconds, you can see a shadow person walk into the room. This shadow was caught on live stream and apparently is not special effects. 2. They are listening to some really creepy music before all of this scary stuff happens. It doesn't even sound like a song, just a slowed down chant of some kind. What is this person saying and is this related to what happened to her friend? She seems very scared when she ends the live stream, and most people seem to agree this video is both paranormal and real. This port city in western Saudi Arabia looks like the aftermath of a building collapse or else some kind of terrible eruption, but it's none of that. It's actually just starting and the worst is yet to come. The massive plume of smoke spreads evenly across the horizon and at 1 minute and 15 seconds you briefly get a glimpse of where it finally ends. There's no outrunning this event and finding shelter is almost pointless. The cloud is growing taller by the minute as it heads towards them. The air is becoming gritty and it's getting harder to breathe. Vehicles desperately try to get away at the last second, but it's too late for any of them to get far, nor the cameraman for that matter, who seems resigned to his fate and makes no such attempt. This is a massive sandstorm and if you haven't found shelter by now, you're in big trouble. The winds pick up and everything around him starts creaking unsteadily. Someone tell me what his last words are and if you think he made it through this event. Those are the last recorded moments before I assume the sand broke his camera. We may not get to see what happens next, but I doubt it was anything good. Either way, there's something about the possibility of this whole town getting buried alive that makes this video creepy beyond words. Are You Being Followed? Published by Moosey in August of 2021, one subscriber to the channel claimed there was a paranormal forest near their house, so Moosey went to investigate. This is what happened. Using a paranormal filter on his camera, Moosey takes a few photos. He then goes home to develop them, or at least check them out on his laptop. He shows one of the photos of the paranormal forest without the filter. It looks completely normal, albeit a bit spooky. Note that there's no one in sight. However, the exact same landscape shot with the paranormal filter shows something different. Off to the right, a creepy and mysterious figure with dark hair and a white dress is standing in the brush. She is facing left and looking straight ahead. Another shot of the forest unfiltered again shows no one in sight, but apply the filter and the figure is there again, closer this time, and appears to be looking at Moose. See. Although it's hard to tell, as her face is transparent, she looks as if half of her has been erased. Moosey believes this entity followed him home. If she did, what is she after? I'm guessing his soul. 
A YouTuber named Sasha is enjoying her vacation in South Korea when she notices a clown in a dirty outfit and a wrinkled white mask is appearing in a lot of her shots. He starts out far away and gets progressively closer until he is practically breathing on her at times. He looks creepy. Does he look at me? Sasha plays it off like a joke at first, but when the clown follows her into the mall, she realizes that this is a real issue and she needs to lose him fast. Because this strange guy, is, he's, he's here and it's not funny. Look. He look at me. She tries hiding, but when that doesn't work, she calls a passenger service to come pick her up just as the man switches from a walk to a run. I guess she doesn't know that the police number in Korea is 112, so she does the next best thing and runs away as the clown gains on her. Her ride pulls up just in time and she manages to escape. Even though Sasha didn't call the authorities, she still handled the situation well by getting away from this stranger as fast as possible. These guys are trying to communicate with a spirit at their clinic office, specifically Jen. To determine who they're talking to, they use flashlights. We're gonna say, oh, I think it's cool with that. We're gonna say the alphabet and whichever one your name is, can you please turn off the flashlight on that letter, okay? When they arrive at J, H, I, J, Jen. Yeah, it's Jen, I think, or something tied okay. to Jen. It has to. But another flashlight is directed by a second spirit. Another one, right? That's a different spirit, okay. Um, K L M N Okay. They're trying to figure out which of the spirits wrote the note or were somehow connected to it. If you're not connected to it, turn off your flashlight. Daniel's not connected to it. So Jen is. And finally, they ask Jen. Jen, were you the one that wrote the note? No. Oh. Wait, but she's connected to it, so she didn't. Do you know write. who wrote the note? Were you here when they wrote the note? Although the Redditor doesn't explain in the comments what note he's asking the spirits about, according to him, Nathaniel once scratched him. I'm really not sure if he should be keeping the lines of communication open with an entity this aggressive. Buckle your seatbelts. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, this video is apparently forbidden in most countries, and it's clear why. The footage shows two lit up objects in the sky. They're both moving slightly, with one of them moving a bit faster than the other and in different directions. The lights blink as the unidentified flying device on the bottom moves up towards the one above it. Suddenly, they fuse and it sends a shockwave through the sky, like a bolt of lightning. What in the heck just happened here? The uploader stumbled across the freaky forbidden video in the summer of 2018. Some think it's most likely a clip from an indie movie. Redditor the lovely Raven 313 points out, if this actually happened, the media would be on it. Many agree with this sentiment. While some are willing to suspend their disbelief when asked what it is, the Redditor admits he doesn't know. That's why I'm posting this to try and solve the mystery, he writes. Can you solve the mystery? I'm at a loss here. A YouTuber named Encounters26 is fishing late at night in Bishopville, Maryland, when he comes across something unnatural in the forest. Do you see it where? Whoa. 
Holy. A silent, hulking figure makes its way through the murky swampland, apparently trying to get away quickly without being noticed. Encounters 26 believes this to be some sort of lizard man creature, which would explain why the creature does not make any noise as it tries to escape the flashlight's glare. I was almost positive that this was just a person in a suit until it turns back to the camera. You can see some sort of sharp white scales coming out of its back, almost like a dinosaur, and its arms look way too skinny to be a person's. Holy. <gasps> this man is panicking, and he has reason to. Published by Hayalet Video Lari in November of 2013. The creepy footage he captured will have you on edge. Though there is no context to this clip, the man is in a room alone and he's very much afraid. Guys, this is the area where I've seen a spirit roaming freely. What of? We're not sure yet until. Hey. Are you there? Are you there inside? Oh my After freaking out some more, the man wheels around the frosted window panel and there's no one behind it. To whom does this hand belong? I'd wager the invisible man. Supposedly a little girl saw two ghosts. Looks like a creepy little house. They say it's really haunted. A team of ghost hunters investigate recent paranormal activity at the Craig house where a ghost sighting has left a little girl really creeped out. Her mother suspects the house is haunted. So what do you think it is? Do you think it's... <laughs> Probably ghost. The Craig family was not surprised when their daughter had a ghost sighting because they've all experienced paranormal activity too. Weird things like the dial on their radio moving on its own unexplainable noises in the basement and scary voices whispering hello. But this time, the paranormal activity has gone too far by scaring their innocent daughter, and so the ghost hunters are called to investigate. They set up paranormal equipment in the haunted basement to see what kind of supernatural evidence they can capture on video. When nothing is caught on tape, the ghost hunters begin to doubt anything paranormal is down here, and so they challenge the ghost to reveal itself on camera. Make something move off these shelves. You little. No objects fall off the shelf, but apparently, three minutes later, a mysterious EVP is caught on camera when the ghost hunters are exploring the entrance to a room under the stairs. <laughs> Keep in mind their paranormal equipment has been dormant for 25 minutes until they come across this hidden room, which appears to be empty, and when they open it, all of their equipment mysteriously turns off and needs to be restarted. So I think they've let out something paranormal. As ghost hunters, it is their job to replicate the results so as to provide the best paranormal evidence possible, which in this case means standing outside of the small space and taunting the ghost some more. Bring it to me. I'm going inside this little room. Demonic heaven or bring it to me. Let's see it. They said. They said. A strong and steady EVP does not stop until they take the batteries out, which I think were probably being drained fast. Judging from the weird sounds it makes, the ghost hunting equipment is being pushed past its limits and struggles to keep up with the paranormal energy surrounding it. Later, their EVP session takes them inside the closet of the girl's basement playroom where she had a ghost sighting. He calls the ghost a coward for not properly showing itself and... Coward. If you look behind him, an object seemingly moves on its own, or maybe he hooks it with his finger. It's kind of hard to say. Did you not see it move by itself? Yeah, but it's got to be better than that. I got to see it move well, by itself. You still don't believe? Not really. Either way, this is probably one of the few videos I've ever seen 
where the ghost hunters argue about whether this scary moment is paranormal or fake. So let's help them figure it out. I think it was probably real because earlier, he did at some point ask the ghost to move an object to prove it was real. A YouTuber named 614Life has a massive blockage in his shower drain, and now the water will barely go down. To fix this, he uncaps the drain and sticks a long plastic tool down the hole in search of the problem. Oh, this is disgusting. In less than 10 seconds, he is pulling up glob after glob of wet hair that is probably already weeks old. There we go, yeah. Now that we're getting down in there, we get all the way down. As far as I'll let you go. The clog looks thick and full to begin with, but as he gets to the meaty center, the situation gets out of control until finally he finds himself ripping up huge chunks with an actual pair of pliers. This section is probably months old and gives him a lot of resistance. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my god. And if you haven't already almost lost your lunch, he picks up the mess with his bare hands to give you a closer look. Then he drops it with a sickening wet slap. This is hair. Two fishermen cast their reels into the Gulf of Mexico without a care in the world. 20 minutes later, they only have one care in the world, getting out alive. The pair finds themselves caught in the middle of a giant storm system gathering overhead. Going backwards means traveling in the same direction as the storm, so the only thing left to do is charge deeper into the storm and hope to come out the other side in one piece. The storm hasn't even begun yet, and you can see the waves are almost coming into the boat already. They need to hurry if they ever want to see dry land again. The storm gets worse and worse until they can barely tell the sky apart from the sea. Everything is just a big, swirling mass of grey with absolutely no visibility, except for the occasional crack of lightning to illuminate their path for a few precious seconds at a time. If things get any worse, their tiny boat will surely capsize under the crushing waves. Finally, after an hour of riding, they emerge from the traveling storm and return to blue skies. You can tell that they are truly safe because they can stand fully upright again. A creepy video is freaking out fans of a celebrity in India named Rhea Chakraborty. She's like in the hotel room she's been staying to living in a horror film. Creepiest of all is this sentence that reads, This is my third room change. Electrical problems could explain problems from the first room, maybe the second, but three times is a bit much. Assuming the hotel staff check the rooms for problems beforehand, which you think they would do, especially for a celebrity, then you have to wonder if the paranormal problem lies within her. It is possible that something within her is triggering paranormal activity while staying at a haunted hotel. I fear so. This video is from the official YouTube page of the Bluestone National Park Resort in Wales, so it has a higher chance of being real than if it was on some random page. It looks like a fish, except for the very beginning which more closely resembles the upper body of a person, one with wet hair at that. The Bluestone National Park Resort says that this is a mermaid. Do you think they are telling the truth based on this video, or is this something they edited to help get people interested? in visiting. A haunted coffee shop? Never heard of such a thing. But that's what YouTube team The Haunted Side are investigating in Virginia City, Nevada. Their investigation opens with a subtle sound. Um, heard that. That was in here. The spirits then respond to the team's requests via their paranormal devices. Can you touch that little box right there on the bar? Oh. Just like that, look, look. Right. What the f is that? The unexplained noises continue. No. Whoa. Something made a noise right before I did that. And in the kitchen, they hear a whisper or a breath. It sounded. It sounded like. 
like a voice. The voice is heard again, louder this time, but it's unclear what it's saying. Is that you? As they're looking on a thermal camera, more unexplained noises resound. And now it's like over by the door and gone. Whoa. What? And a voice. That's the first voice I've heard come through there. Next, Patrick feels something touch his neck. That, gotta put the camera down for a second. Ooh. Something like. Not, not a scratch per se, but like. And just as he's about to speak, the spirits clink their glasses. Where are you right? Ooh. What was that? The noises don't end there. What the f was that? Then a bunch of his tech acts up on its own. I'm holding it down, the SLS closed. The full spectrum camera shut off. That was rolling. Is the IR light on? It opened back up on its own. What is happening here? As he's trying to figure it out, another clinking sound is heard. That is... What the f The spirit is even taking requests now. Can you make a noise like that again, please? Whoa! Whoa! And then denying them. What the in my opinion, despite the ambient noise throughout the clip, there are too many mysterious sounds in this place to deny that it's haunted. But all I'm wondering is, if this spirit serves up a decent cup of boo brew. Sosa 37 posted this spooky video of her dog in 2017. In the description of the video, she wrote, They always say animals can see spirits. My dog was barking at nothing in the room. She wasn't looking at the TV screen and you can see her move her head suddenly at the 9 second mark. At first, it appears as though the dog is perhaps barking at her own reflection in the television in front of her, but it becomes clear that the dog is looking at something to the right of the TV. And then, as the YouTuber noted, the dog jerks its head suddenly and jumps up, looking above the television. <coughs> She starts growling and barking more as she gazes upwards. The camera scans where she is looking off to the side of the room, and there's absolutely nothing there. The dog then gets up from its seated position, continuing to growl and bark, and looking still at a spot to the right of the TV. The dog is acting aggressively and defensively, and although her owner remains calm and asks the dog what's wrong, only she seems to know that something is very wrong. What is she seeing in the void? Video of a woman's ghost is real, according to the uploader, who dared to get closer to her than anyone else in the neighborhood ever has. Tell me what she says moments before he is chased. <laughs> <laughs> he turns around and discovers she has covered a large distance in a short time. Then she's right behind him, screaming. Mama. Hopefully this ghost sighting is not real, but there is a small chance it could be. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.